We're here at the 18th issue of Whitefish Review Launch Party, here with author Rick Bass. Uh, years and years ago, probably seven years ago, Rick told me that literary journals are important, not only because we're able to introduce new writers to the publication, but also that it grounds established writers. And uh, I mean, Rick, can you say a few words about that? I mean, there are those horrible, those horrible new age words about community and standards of excellence and having the senses be engaged fully in a time of numbness and fragmentation. And Brian was talking about all this stuff on the phone. He was saying, I, I believe in this stuff. I believe it matters. And he was being all holy and a zealot and stuff. And, and I, I was on the phone and I was shoveling where the dog had been and, and listening to him talk about art and how he's going to start a literary magazine that's going to bring excellence to a community that he had fallen in love with. He wanted to give something back to this place that he loves. And, and I said, okay, well, why don't you start a restaurant while you're at it? I mean, it's like a fool's errand. It's a doomed adventure. And I told him that. And he said, no, we're, we're going to make this work. I know that everybody has this dream, this idea, but I believe deeper. I, be, I have a fire that's going to burn hotter. I'm going to carry this on my back. I'm going to get it done. Will you help me? And I said, fucking A, yes. Can I say that? Of course. I said, yes, I will. I would be, I would be honored and pleased to. And everybody in the state is honored and pleased to. It's, part of it's about whitefish, but part of it's about Montana. And uh, uh, I mean, in this issue, this 18th issue, you're, you're going to find the best writing that's being done uh, in the United States. This is not just the best in whitefish. It's not just the best by young writers. It's not just the best in Montana. This is, this is a, this is a, a sweet issue. Uh, and thank you for making it work. Congratulations. Rick said it all. Okay, that's good. <laughs> We're here with uh, Jason Forrest, who's one of the emerging writers that we've published in issue number 18. Jason is going to have the rare opportunity tonight to, to actually read before a, a live audience prior to Rick Bass. How does that feel? When I realized that my piece alone was just going to be read by Rick Bass and edited by Rick Bass and Christine and then just your whole team, I was blown away. And then... Um, when you called me and asked me to read, that was quite a, a next level type of situation. You know, it's just incredible. We're here with Gerald Askeball, the contributor to issue 18 here, growing up and getting older. Um, Gerald submitted a wonderful photograph of his son gazing at Mickey Mouse on the screen, an old image of the Christmas Carol, looking at the graveyard. And uh, But really what I'd like to ask Gerald is, talk to us about the importance of art in this modern world. Well. Uh, I come from it from a little different perspective because I'm trained as a, a scientist and I have a degree in engineering and all. But I have come to realize that the world that we're in, probably the most important quality we need to deal with what we're dealing with is creativity. And one of the places that, that the educators have totally missed the boat is when they relegate the creative arts, visual arts, writing arts, and so forth, and music included to second, a second seat, where they should be on absolutely equal plane with all the scientific endeavors. When we stress only math and science and all, we're, we're missing something absolutely critical to our whole human experience. We're here with author and scientist Christina Eisenberg. Um, many years ago, Christina had come out with the Wolf's Tooth book. Doug Chadwick, great author and friend, had said, "Oh, you should you should look up this uh, this gal Christina. She's doing some great work." We sent her a note. We sent her some books. We get her letter back. Hey, I'd love to be involved, Christina. Why would you want to be involved with this ragtag group of people? Because White Fish Review rocks. It epitomizes everything that is wild and amazing and creative about the Rocky Mountain culture. And it's an amazing team of individuals. And it's, it's, a, it's a community effort that has actually now become a global effort. So it's a huge amount of fun. And it's also pretty darn profound. <laughs> Especially this current issue. Yeah, I think it is. Um, we, uh, we're still kicking around ideas for issue number 19. Christina Eisenberg is going to be the lead editor, so stay tuned for what we come up with that. Yeah.